high developers so in this part of angular e-commerce project we will learn that how we can integrate api for seller sign up and uh, as you know we are using a uh, json server for api integration and if you are not aware about json server then you can watch our last video link is given in the description box for complete playlist right and in that video i just told that how you can use json server and how you can uh, create api with it and how you can test uh, apis with the postman and all so now let's get back to our uh, uh, this video and here we will learn that how we can create services and how we can call functions from uh, from uh, component file to services and uh, we will also learn that how we can just write code for call apis how we can just redirect user from uh, uh, sign up page to the home page and we will also learn about uh, uh, how we can create interface uh, for api data and all right so now let's start with the first point and uh, let's create a service so let me just open the terminal there and guys if you are not aware like uh, what is what are the services and uh, what are the interface why we make services and why we make apis and all then i will recommend you then just uh, have a look of basic uh, angular uh, and uh, you can get the idea from the uh, playlist link is given in the description box for angular tutorial also so now let's create the service file and if you want to create a service file inside any specific folder then you can just mention that folder name and then you can create the services so let me just create a service uh, seller service inside the services folder so the command is ng g for generate services service after that your folder name services and my service name is seller we will create all uh, we will call all seller related apis in that service also only so a service doesn't mean that you will on only call apis there you can create your common functions and reusable functionalities also there but uh, for now we are just using services for call the apis in this video so if you just want to check it out then you can just go to inside the app services and here you will find two files one for spec.ts which is for unit testing another one for ts file and here we can create a function so let's say i am creating a function for calling api which is a, a user sign up right and after that uh, for a moment i am just making console dot uh, one or console dot log so that we can check that this is calling or not we are going step by step to calling apis so let me just say that service called right and uh, now we can call this uh, uh, service function from any component so let me just uh, go to the seller auth dot component dot ts and here you have to just uh, assign uh, this service to any uh, property of this uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, this class so just write here private property there or you can also use public but uh, i don't want to use this uh, uh, property to outside that class that's why i'm just making it private so seller is my property name and uh, i can just simply say that uh, seller service like this and it will automatically import it from there and now we can simply use this dot seller dot sign up you can just simply call it so now let's see are we able to call it or not yeah there is a one more thing which is uh, okay so i think i just need to restart the server because uh, before just making this video i was just uh, trying to write some i was doing some practice that's why i think that the code the code was not clear it remains in the cache so let's let me just uh, restart this terminal once so now let's see uh, everything is working fine there and uh, we can uh, just go to the seller and if i'm just clicking over there now you can see that service is called so service is called from the sign up uh, click function that's fine so now the next thing is i just want to push past this uh, data which is coming from the form directly to that service so what i can do there i like i can directly pass this data like there 
and after that there is a subscribe function subscribe function is basically used to get data from service so let's say you just call this sign up function only one place and you want to get this data on the 10 different different components so you can just put the subscribe option and you will get this data of uh, that uh, service in all apis right so let me just simply put here dot subscribe now it's showing some error but uh, I, i'm just going to fix it and uh, let me just uh, get this uh, uh, data as a parameter with the name of console uh, result and now I can just get this data and for a moment I am just putting there any right after that I will just uh, replace it with the interface but uh, for a moment I am just putting there any right and uh, as we are not just returning something from here that's why this is showing error so let me just write to code for call API and we have to import something from there also import something from angular common and then http and uh, from there we can import the http client and again we have to just make instance of it like private property or public property HTTP instance of uh, HTTP class and we can say that this dot HTTP dot your method name let's say I just want to call their post method for obviously for storing the data and uh, now here the first URL will be uh, the first parameter will be the URL right so this is my URL even you can store this URL in any constant file or in any variable I will do that in a upcoming part uh, but for a moment I am just making it add as, as a static and uh, in a second parameter I can just simply pass their data and that's it now there you will find that the subscribe uh, the error is actually uh, just wiped out and now you can console dot one there right and you can just check the result you whatever you are getting okay so our api is done now we can just check that flow this is working fine or not but there is a one more thing that we missed here uh, which is we have to open their uh, app.module.ts and here we must have to import uh, http client module uh, here it is all right so now i think there should not be any error so let me think for a moment you can see that in a uh, api we have only two data right so this is our uh, json server and uh, these are the two users that we just stored in our last video and why this is taking too much time all right so let's go to the sailor So let me just add some name. Let's say Peter. Password is A B C at the rate one two three. Common for all users for a moment, so that uh, I can remember the password for all users. Peter at the rate test dot com. If, if I'm just hitting over there, then now you can see that we are getting the data in line number sixteen, which is I hope uh, cons result console right. Okay. So if you just want to verify that your API is called or not, uh, you can just uh, check inside the network. And uh, for final checking, you can see that we got one more data in the Peter with the ID 3 ID is actually auto generated. All right. So after that, whenever your API is called, user should redirect it on some other page like on home page or, or somewhere else, right? So what we can do there, uh, before that, I just want to fix this any type. Like we just put there any. So uh, why we are we should not use any because uh, any will allow us all data types. It uh, if we are using their specific data, then there must be only three. Uh, there should be an object with the three keys like name, email, and password. So if we will just use any, it will allow all kind of data. So we can fix it with uh, with the you can say that proper uh, 
a type so i am just creating a one more file with the name of data hyphen type dot ps and i will just create here uh, interface for uh, sign up export interface and my interface name is let's say sign up and uh, here i am putting there i don't need to put there equal to uh, name that will be string email is also will be string and last one is uh, password is also will be string right and now we can use this uh, sign up to the service as well as in our user component i just created this file because uh, in many places we need this data right uh, for a moment we need only on the two places but in upcoming time we need this data in a many places that's why i'm just uh, created a separate a file with a separate interface we fixed on one place and the second place if you can see that uh, we are just uh, defining their object and we are passing it the type of uh, a sign up so it will not accepting so i'm direct directly just putting here sign up and uh, let me import the data type also now there should be no error and it should work fine so now the now last thing is let me create here one uh, seller home page so that we can redirect it so let me just say that ngg for generate c for component seller home component right and we will redirect our user to that page taking some time i don't know why my laptop is bit slower today cha 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 and here we go all right so one more component is created now uh, the last thing we have to do just uh, we have to redirect our user to that page so let me just uh, use it uh, router from angular router and we have to register it again as an instance so just let me add here one more private property there and uh, you can see that router and that is a type of router class yeah and uh, we will check there if there is a result then we can say that this dot router dot navigate and uh, there let's take array and yeah one more thing which we forget that uh, we have to create the route for that page so let me just go on app dot route page and uh, we, we have to add one more route so let me just add component name first which is uh, seller home not seller auth yep and uh, path will be let's say seller home and let's put that path directly in the navigation right let me just format it and uh, here we go let me add one more user there so let's say my username is bruce again this is refreshing bruce password is 12 abc at the rate 123 and uh, bruce at the rate test.com and if i am just clicking over there you can see that user is, is redirected to the seller home there is some more things that we need to fix that we will do in the upcoming videos like uh, if user is logged in then he or she cannot see that uh, sign up or login page again right so we will fix in the upcoming part thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and uh, if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment box otherwise you can just give some feedback for that video thank you guys